Big story tonight, documents dumped. Good evening, I'm Russ McCaskey. Karen has the evening off. A Tulsa business finds hundreds of documents in its dumpsters. Those files contain copies of social security numbers, addresses, phone numbers. There are even blank checks inside. Two News reporter Jason Grubbs examined the files firsthand. He joins us now live with more on where all that information came from. Jason? Well, Russ, it was pretty remarkable what I saw inside of those files. All those documents came from this check cashing place here in South Tulsa. The owner tells me it was a mix-up. The mistake has left a lot of customers concerned. Owners of on-the-spot custom jewelry design are in the process of building a new shop on the corner of 51st and Yale. Old walls have been knocked down and new ones put up. But one night this week, Eugene Probst made a strange discovery out back. When we were dumping the remains of the drywall into the dumpster, we found all of these files. Not just a few files. That's 40. Not even a few dozen. That's 60. Hundreds of them. Three, 94, 95. Filled with all sorts of personal information, dating as far back as 2004 and as early as 2009. Probes managed to save 96 of them. Blank checks, social security cards, IDs, uh, bank statements, uh, telephone statements, everything. I mean, it's, it's quite extensive. The documents were traced back to a business a couple of doors down called American Check Cashers of Oklahoma. The new owner told 2 News a shredding company was hired to take care of the documents properly. She admits there was a mix-up in the confidential and non-confidential files. Her statement reads, I'm not sure if this was our fault or the document shredding company, but our staff was clearly aware of those items that we instructed to be shredded versus those to be dumped. We value our customers' privacy and confidential information and thought that we had taken all precautions necessary. I can assure you that any future shredding will be supervised by myself personally. This is a hundred people's lives that could have been destroyed. As for Probst, he says he'll try to contact all the people he has information for. Otherwise, he'll destroy the files himself. I, I've, I've had friends that have lost just about everything because they had their identity stolen. This was 10 years ago. Imagine what they can do now. Now, there's a couple of things you can do here. Experts say you can get your credit report checked free every year. Look for any suspicious activity. You can also contact all of the credit reporting agencies and have your file flagged. Put a live from South Tulsa tonight, Jason Grubbs. Two News works for you. I